All right, now let's take a look at example three. Example three, we're supposed to use um, all the things that we have learned so far on how to differentiate, to differentiate um, this part one and part two. Okay, and uh, based on the only thing that we learned so far, we haven't touched on the chain rule, which is the next video. Okay, uh, the only approach that we can use to differentiate this is to expand this entire perfect square out. Okay, so that, that's like the only way we can do it this at the moment. Okay, so uh, let us do it. All right, so uh, after you expand this, it will look a bit like this. All right, which is one over x bracket square plus two multiplied by one over x and multiplied by x and uh, plus the x square. Okay, and of course, uh, simplifying will give us this expression y equals to this uh, one over x square and uh, this x and this x will be cancelled away, so left two plus x square. Now bear in mind that you haven't really done anything uh, special, okay, in the sense you haven't differentiated anything at all. Uh, what is going on here is just the expansion, okay, it's just something like a binomial expansion kind of thing, but it's a very simple one, okay. So next, we differentiate. So at this moment, we are going to differentiate everything, okay, so we're going to differentiate term by term. So if you remember the previous example in the video that we discussed, all right, now we can actually differentiate this in a very quick manner okay we actually end up with negative 2 over x cubed okay so uh, I hope uh, you guys really can learn this quite well because uh, as you can imagine it's pretty fast okay and I hope you are also confident with this okay so you can differentiate this in a very quick manner all right differentiate 2 gives you 0 and nobody writes a 0 there so differentiate x squared gives you 2x all right there you go this is the answer for part 1 Okay, so nothing new to learn, really. Um, what is there new to learn is the, basically uh, we have to expand this in order to differentiate. Okay, how about part two? Now part two, again, we haven't touched on the quotient rule. So we're not going to use quotient rule to integrate this. Uh, sorry, I mean to differentiate this. Okay, so the only way uh, that we can do this will be to split up the fraction into two separate fractions like this. Okay. So we ended up with uh, two separate fractions that if you combine, we actually get back the same one single fraction. So what is so special about this form is that now we have two uh, terms uh, that we can differentiate term by term, so to speak. So, but before we differentiate, it would be a wonderful idea to simplify this a little. Since this is x squared at the top and an x at the bottom, you know, with the cancel away, it leaves, with, uh, uh, it leaves, leaves us with 3x. Okay, and uh, the second term will be x cubed divided by x that gives us an x square. So again, bear in mind that you haven't really differentiated anything at all, nothing to do with differentiation. This is called simplifying. Okay, uh, and now we will start to differentiate. So we differentiate from left to right one term at a time. So differentiate 3x gives us a 3, differentiate x squared gives us 2x. And there you go. This is it. 